सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल अगेन एज यू नो दिस इज़ अ सीरीज ऑफ चैप्टर्स फ्राम राजस्थान इकोनॉमी सर्वे टू कवर द पोर्शन ऑफ राजस्थान इकोनॉमी सो टूडे वी विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर फोर दैट इज़ इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट एंड दिस चैप्टर विल बी इन टू पार्ट्स बिकॉज आई एम नॉट फीलिंग वेल टूडे सो पार्ट वन is uploaded today and part 2 will be uploaded tomorrow along with chapter 5 so don't worry we will be covering all the chapters by the end of this month and one more thing i couldn't find my uh my highlighter so i had to highlight them from this one uh some of the things are not clearly visible but i'll be i'll be explaining everything okay so as you know in chapter 1 we have seen that uh, the contribution of industry in the gsdp of state is 27% and if we see the particular subdivision of the activities under this so at current price manufacturing is the most uh, contributing one then construction uh then electricity and then mining right then we have iip that is an index we have already seen that so in iip the wattage of manufacturing is 77% and of mining is 14% and of electricity is uh, 8% so there can be a question like uh, how many uh how many uh sector included in iip for the measurement so you can see that there are only three sectors and then they can ask you about the uh, wattages particularly then we have this eight core industry so uh, there was a mains question that uh, what are the eight uh, core industry so you have to remember that it is a refinery electricity steel then crude oil coal and cement then natural gas and fertilizer so you can remember this as first race and uh, we know that rest spelling is not like this but to remember this we can uh, see that rest is refined electricity and steel then we have triple c that is crude oil coal and steel and the last ones are natural gas and fertilizer then we have this msme that is micro small medium enterprises on 17 december msme day is celebrated and recently the government of india have uh, changed the definition of uh, the micro small and medium enterprises so micro uh, enterprises are that that have investment of 1 crore and they have turnover 5 crore and for small it is 1 to 10 crore and turnover is 5 to 50 crore and for medium it is 10 to 50 crore investment and 50 to 2050 crore turnover this question was asked in a uh, this year's upsc prelims so we can accept that uh, or okay this can be asked in uh, rpsc's exam too then some schemes so we have this portal called msme udyam registration so basically it is for uh, the registration of new enterprises then we have mukhyamantri lagu udyog protsahan from name itself we can uh, get to know that is it's about some loan in etc so there will be a loan up to 10 crore then we have this rajasthan msme act of 2019 that uh, provides some exemption uh, from uh, approvals and inspections of police for 3 years so like it will increase in our uh, our sectors right if they can freely uh, work without any inspector raz or etc then for export we have this 72000 crore export in the year of 2021 and 22 and the major goods were engineering goods then textiles metals handicrafts and chemical these are five contribute more than 60% and the schemes we have for the uh, promotion of export is mission niryatak bano niryatak is the one who exports it was uh, launched in 2021 by rico and government of rajasthan we will be discussing rico in detail uh, we will be discussing rico in detail and 
it's basically some training program and recently it's a uh, second phase was started so it was there in news then we have assistance for participation in foreign trade fair so basically it will be a uh, a showcase of soft power too if we are a uh, uh we are increasing the participation of our handicrafts and etc in the foreign market so there will be also a uh, increase in tourism sector and our soft power too so it was launched by repc and in which reimbursement of 50% provided for the rent of ground and then a uh, 10 lakh for the foreign deputy uh, foreign deputy uh, delegation then we have this a uh, one uh, district uh, one product on the lines of one nation one product program uh, it was started by uh, dpc under the uh, uh, it's not the ministry is dpc uh, then like it's it have a uh, 33 pro- product as we have 33 uh, district now so blue poet blue pottery for jaipur yellow stone from jaisalmer so in the page 76 of eco survey you will find a list so you can just go through that and try to remember some of that so if any question is asked you can got it correct then development of industries and commerce so there is this rajasthan investment promotion scheme of 2022 so it is it is basically for the increase in the employment of 10 lakh people by the end of 2070 20 sorry uh, by the end of 2027 and in which there will be initiative packages for investment etc uh that will be on uh, if the investment exceed 50 crore then we have dr bhimrao ambedkar rajasthan dalit adivasi udyam protsahan yojana it was also launched in 2022 it is basically for the participation of scs and sts in development of non agriculture sector then we have mukhya mantri lagu vahan swarojgar yojana so from vahan you can uh, get to know that it will be for some commercial uh, vehicle so it was launched in 2022 in the applicant can be of 18 to 45 years and on the purchase of commercial vehicle price up to 50 lakh or a grant of 10% if a vehicle is of 15 lakh so a grant of 10% or 16000 will be given to the applicants then we have these uh, some authority that one is bureau of investment Pro- promotion so by name itself it is suggesting that uh, it is a bureau that is looking after the promotion of investment so it was uh, established in 1991 to facilitate large investment and there will be state empowered committees for uh, investment that is more than 10 crore then uh, some programs are launched by uh, the bureau of investment Pro- promotion that is investment investor connect program so it was held in alwar vadodara delhi and jaipur then we have this investment rajasthan summit that was held in sitapura jaipur then we have one stop shop in which we are uh, we are just uh, limiting the processes or the uh, long forms etc to minimize the uh, time frame so there will be a bureau of sorry board of investment under the chairmanship of uh, chief minister then we have this rat i already told you that we will be uh, discussing the rico in detail so here it is rico is rajasthan state industrial development investment corporation limited it was established in 1980 for technical assistance and a uh, loan facility so uh, rico has developed the agro food park we have already seen this in chapter 2 uh, so i did not wrote here uh, the so there are four agro parts uh, I'll ask you to comment down the four agro parts if you remember that, and if you don't, please uh go to the chapter two and again revise from there. Then there will be agro food processing zone in Jodhpur. Then 
देर इज़ जापानी जोन इन नीमराना अलवर इफ सम ऑफ यू हैव लाइक विजिटेड टू दिल्ली फ्रॉम आर एस आर टी सी बसेस सो इट इट इज़ बेसिकली ऑन दी रोड यू कैन ईजीली गेट टू सी दैट जोन टू आई माई सेल्फ हैव सीन दैट then uh, will having a uh, india stone mart in jaipur then there are two sales one is a jewelry shop in sitapura jaipur and then mahindra world city jaipur so uh, question can be asked the uh, when, which one of the following is not a sales so sales is basically a special economic zone there, so there are some uh, there are some exemption from uh, provision so to increase the uh, or to increase the ease of doing business right then we have rajasthan small industry corporation limited that is raj siko it was established in 1961 for the financial assistance so under which many things are developed such as such as inland container depots so it will be in jaipur jodhpur bhilwada then uh, raj rajasthali outlets outlets in jaipur udaipur delhi kolkata then air cargo complex obviously it will be in sanghaner jaipur and then vishwakarma msme tower in jaipur it, uh, this was in this year's uh, budget and then uh, delhi mumbai industrial corridor with the financial help of japan it is 1504 km of corridor that will be start from dadri up to jawaharlal nehru port in mumbai uh, total six tickets are there in this so uh, of 1504 km 30% of this corridor is in rajasthan and the investment region are kushkeda bhiwadi both are in nimrana then ajmer kishangarh and the industrial area is jodhpur pali marwar जयपुर दोसा एंड राजसमंद भीलवाड़ा देन वी हैव दिस खादी एंड विलेज इंडस्ट्री सो देर आर सम ट्रेनिंग सेंटर दैट इज़ इन पुष्कर अजमेर माउंट आबू सिरोही एंड संकुल मानसरोवर इन जयपुर सो दे कैन गिव यू अ क्वेश्चन लाइक विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट नॉट अ ट्रेनिंग सेंटर ऑफ खादी एंड विलेज इंडस्ट्री सो ऑप्शन कैन बी पुष्कर माउंट आबू मानसरोवर एंड कोटा सो यू हैव टू चूज दी ओल्ड वन एंड दैट विल बी ए कोटा ऑब्वियसली फॉर दी फॉर दिस वन एंड बट दिस ईयर्स बट बजट इंक्लूडेड मोर ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सो दैट विल बी कोटा जोधपुर भरतपुर एंड बीकानेर सो लाइक दी ऑप्शन विल नॉट हैव कोटा इट विल हैव लाइक सीकर और एनी थिंग सो यू हैव टू चूज दी ओल्ड वन आउट देन in this year budget uh, we have this rajasthan integrated clusters development program that is like uh, there will be a development of some cluster uh, to increase the specific uh, items from that particular area or anything so leather products from dosa and tong bandej uh, from bikaner and churu embroidery from badmer blue pottery from jaipur so blue pottery was also there in one uh, one district one program and one product sorry then uh, there will be gramin hearts from alwar and pushkar so yeah that's it and the part 2 will be uploaded uh, tomorrow as i'm not feeling uh, well today and along with part 2 there will be chapter 5 uh, tomorrow too and uh, yeah that's it uh if you like our video please uh share among your friends and if you have any queries any doubt and you if you uh if you having uh any issues with uh like language or the writing etc you can uh let us know in our comment section we will try to uh, resolve all your queries yeah so thank you so much uh please like comment share and subscribe our video thank you